Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be doing a trash to treasure video. These are always my favorite videos to film, and I feel today I literally have trash here in my hand. Since I do a lot of painting, I always have plenty of empty paint cans, and I'm excited to maybe get some use out of them. I also have a glass jar here that we called pickle jars growing up, and I have an idea what I'm gonna do with it. And then behind me, there is an old drawer that I also have a plan for. So if you have old drawers at home that are not in use, maybe the piece of furniture isn't good anymore, uh, there's always Pinterest to go to to look for ideas what to do with drawers instead of pitching them. So join me as I work on this and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I'll do with these cans is take them inside to my laundry tub and scrub them. Mineral spirits is always my go-to to remove any sort of glue that comes from labels. It's always a good idea to apply a crud cutter or use soap and water to wash your surface after using mineral spirits since sometimes the paint doesn't want to go on as nicely if you don't. some labels that I'll be using on these paint cans and they are available on my Etsy shop for 99 cents if you're interested. It will be a digital download. Uh, you will download the file and then print them out yourself. And there are a few different ways you can apply these. Uh, right now I am planning on laminating these labels and then just gluing them onto the cans. But you can also, you know, Mod Podge them on.
okay guys, I have a mind change here, which this does happen sometimes, but after I laminated these, I thought I don't really like the look of the shiny laminate on these labels. Now depending where I put them, I think it would be okay, but for these cans here, I just feel like it won't look the best. So what I did is I printed the designs onto my uh, labels that I use for my um, Etsy shop, like if I, my shipping labels. So these are sticky already on one side, so it will work perfectly to use as a label. And for the other side, to kind of protect it against, you know, if it gets damp or whatever, I have plastic spray. I know I've used this in the past to spray over paper, and it actually says it is water repellent, and it, you know, it protects um, artwork. I know some people use it for art, and you know, of course, other surfaces. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, spray it first, dry it, cut it out, and then apply it to the cans. I use this newspaper print wallpaper a lot for my projects, and some of you have asked where I got it. Um, I purchased it at a hardware store about 15 to 20 minutes from here. Um, it's called Kime Lumber. It's in Charm, Ohio, and they do have a website, so I will link it below in case you want to check it out. But they have anything there, um, home-related, home improvement, you know, lumber, hardware, paint, wallpaper all sorts of things, so if you're in the area, make sure to check out Kime Lumber and Charm. I got these swivel bearing casters at our local hardware. I thought um, they would look great on the bottom of this piece, giving it a nice industrial look. So what I have in mind for this big pickle jar is to add a wire handle. And I have done this before in the past. Um, I never, it was years ago, I never you know, shared it on here, but you may have seen, I think I have one in the house that has the wire handle. I had several questions on it, so I thought this would be a good project to do on here. And like I said, it's been years that I did it, so I hope I still remember how, but it's not hard, and I'm sure there's not just one way to do it, but what you need is some wire, and I don't have the label for this wire anymore, so I'm not sure about you know what size it is, but um, I think I may, may have gotten it at Lowe's or a hardware store. Um, it's very easy to bend, but yet it's, it seems pretty strong, and it is black, and it does get your hands black too, so after I'm finished here, I'll have to wash up, but. Um, you need some wire and then also a wooden dowel and this size is the 7 16th you know, by 48 inches long and of course I'll just need a little piece. I want that for my actual handle and I have my hot glue gun and also a wire clipper. Now before I start here I do want to mention this handle is 
probably not sturdy enough to actually hold the jar up with something in it, especially it is more just for looks. And you guys know how I like labels, so I'll probably end up slapping a label on the side. So I wanna start off with snipping off a long piece of wire. And remember, you can always shorten the wire. You want it extra long, that way you have plenty of wire to work with. So what I want to do is maybe, oh, six to eight inches from the end here, I want to make a little loop. And then give it one twist. And I'm going to grab my pliers because it is kind of hard to twist. So I made this loop here, if you can see. And what I want to do is, this loop is actually to attach the handle. So directly on the other side of the opening of the jar here, I want another little loop. So if I hold them to the jar, I don't know, can you tell there? The two loops are pretty much directly across from each other. So to get my ends together here, I will just try to find the center here, again kind of using the loops to eye it from, and I will just give it one twist. And the nice thing about this handle is it is removable in case you want to well, maybe wash the jar or just take it off. we're ready for the handle and again I will snip off a long piece here and I want to find my center and I want to stick it through one of the loops so what I want to do is use these two pieces here and just twist them So the next step is adding the wooden handle here. So I'll go ahead and cut some of it off. I need to drill holes in the ends here to stick my wire into. I also want this wood to be darker, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a dark walnut stain to it. So now I need to figure out where to cut off my wire here. It's always nice to have plenty again to work with. Um, I'll cut it off and then add a little glue dot to either side of the wood here and then stick the wire into the hole. I also designed some very neutral black and white labels um, that you can purchase on my Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, 99 cents for four different designs.
hope you guys enjoyed this video and are maybe inspired to think twice about getting rid of some of your trash. It's amazing what can be done with it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And again, I have those labels on my Etsy shop available for 99 cents. If you want to check that out, I will link it below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.